So in this video, we're gonna go over how to use the taper attachment. The taper attachment might be used if you ever have to make a cut that just pretty much is on a taper or an angle compared to any of the flat planes that we normally work on. Um, so what we're gonna do, uh, the taper attachment is located back here. You'll notice that we no longer have the guard in place that we typically will. Um, and that's mainly just so I can show you where all these tools are. They will be in place as soon as we're done filming pretty much. So the main things I wanna point out are Back here, this is just a clamp. This is used to lock the taper attachment down to the rails and force the carriage to move back and forth on this bar. This is pretty much the taper attachment right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and just get a closer look at it. Okay, so now that we're closer to the tapering attachment, I'm gonna point out a few things. First thing is these two bolts. These two bolts need to be loosened up. I'm just gonna loosen these really quick, make sure they're loose, I guess. Um, and that's pretty much gonna re relieve it from going straight fr front and back. You're gonna notice right here, there should be a scale that's gonna tell you how many degrees of taper you're cutting. And there's a little tick mark on both sides right here and up here. So what we're gonna do is just take this knob here and you can see it's twisting this bar and adding the amount of taper we want. We can only do about eight degrees of taper with this. So we're gonna go ahead and screw it all the way out to eight and then I'm gonna show you it running. When you get to that eight degrees, we're almost there. Oh man, it's a lot. We're gonna lock it down. Just go ahead and do these things. Are these Allen bolts tight? Make sure that it's nice and secure. Then we're gonna take this attachment down here, which this is just, again, this is just to lock it down to the rails. Slide it up, this is the Allen bolt here. Pull it out. You want to. Long bolt. <laughs> This one could just be uh, pretty much a, a hand tight. But back here, these ones on the rails, can we see that? These ones on the rails back here, we gotta make sure they're nice and tight. I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a cinch. And now we're gonna go ahead and flip back. I wanna point right here. And I'm gonna show you running back and forth to show you how the bridge moves by itself now. Can you see that this is sliding in now along that rail? By itself. One other takeaway I want you to have from this is you only have about nine to 12 inches of movement here. So you wanna make sure that you get this thing set up around the area that you want to be cutting in. As far as any other thing you need to do, you just pretty much turn on the lathe and go ahead and make your cuts. And that's all there is to know about uh, taper attachments.